David Bromage and I were uh, colleagues at Sonoma State University. Mike. David and I were colleagues at Sonoma State University. That together? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And our offices were a few offices apart, and uh, since my door was always open, David would take on, on occasion to drop in, and we would chat. And we would uh, criticize the political system in the uh, nation, and we would tell some jokes, and we would criticize the administration of the university, and and we got to be friends. And uh, I got to know that he was a poet, and he then asked me what I was doing, and I explained to him what I was doing some research on uh, censorship of uh, the news media. It's called Project Censored. He said, well, that sounds like an interesting thing. And he said, uh, what? what kind of stories. So I showed him some of the stories that uh, I was working on at the time, and he said, could you give me some of them? I said, sure, of course, that's why I'm trying to do this, is to get the word out. He said, yeah, uh, about 24, 25. I said, sure. So I collected 25 stories that I thought he might be interested in for various reasons and gave them to him. He disappeared for about a month, and, and he came back, and he said... Uh, uh, I, I'd like to have you uh, have you. Uh, I'd like you to have a copy of this, and and it turned out here were 16 censored news stories in poetry form. I was I was absolutely blown away, and as I read the uh, poems and the stories, I thought, and and I noticed how he was able to convert harsh journalism to to beautiful poetry and all the rest, and I recognized that I was in the presence of a, a genius, of a really great poet, and it's, we've been friends ever since.